Hey guys, do it on a dime here. So I get so many messages from you telling me about your challenging spaces. This is my friend's house. This room is in her kitchen. It's her laundry area and it also has to serve as her pantry because she doesn't have one. She puts her daughter's artwork here and she was really struggling with what she could do to maximize this space and do it on a really small budget. We needed to make over this entire area for just $30. She needed more shelving in here. She needed more space. So we needed to create something where there was nothing, not to mention the fact that where she was keeping her food in this cupboard was really overwhelming her. She could never find any of the cans that she had. So we had to remedy that problem at the same time. So here's what we did. It just took a few hours and we took this space from looking like this to this and the total cost was just $30. So let me take you through and show you some of these simple systems that you could definitely recreate in your house. I promise you, anybody can do this. All of these gorgeous turquoise bins came from the Dollar Tree, so they were just $1 a piece. If you followed my videos for a while, you know I love them. And I've said this before and I'll say it again, stick with one color scheme, your space is gonna look a whole lot better. Also, if you have to hang dry your clothes in your laundry room, use wooden hangers. It just makes everything look really tied together and beautiful. Something else that I'm loving are these gorgeous metal labels. They come four for a dollar from the Dollar Spot at Target with this super cute burlap twine on them. They just look really classy. I just put my chalk pen on them to really pull the look together and it really helps make these bins look a lot more stately. Also in the corner, this keep calm and carry on wall decal was just $1 from the Dollar Tree. I've showed that in another video and it just adds a pop of whimsy to the corner. Now here is the kicker, these under mounted baskets. This gave her an entire extra shelving area that she didn't have before and this is so easy to do. Go to Walmart, get these six pack of S hooks, they're just $1.97 a pack loop them through the baskets and hang them on. It's gonna give you extra space in your laundry room. And these are the Dollar Tree bins that you want, kind of these oblong ones. They're very sturdy and I just love the way this looks. P.S. All of those labels on the bins were also from the Dollar Tree. They're sticky chalkboard labels. And this is a bona fide pantry section where she's keeping all those extra snacks. I also want to show you, I used command hooks here so you can see her. I'm hanging her duster in the corner so that way it's not taking up valuable real estate on the shelves. We also did end up using two bins that she already had at her house. They were really beautiful and really fit with the design that we were going for so it worked. So don't be afraid to shop your home. You don't have to buy all new things. So now I want you to think back to that cupboard I showed you where she had to keep all of her canned goods. If you remember in the before, she kind of had a bunch of food all in the shelving unit, but now those are in those really cool undermount baskets. So what we could do was take all of those cans that were so hard to find and put them on this rack. Now she can see everything and they're all very clearly labeled on each shelf. She always knows what she has at all times. And again, those chalkboard labels came from the Dollar Tree. My other favorite part of this little section is this art ball. She wanted a place to be able to hang her daughter's artwork and I just took one of those labels and put art at the top of it and then all I did was take command hooks and some twine. She is gonna be using clothespins, but just for the sake of filming, we didn't have any. So we just used little hair ties to put them on, but it gives you the general idea. That's where she can hang her daughter's artwork. She can easily change it out because of the twine. It gives it a designated spot so it's not cluttering up the fridge. Also, I can't finish out this video without showing you what we ended up doing in this cupboard. We moved one of the shelves up that we could put cans on it, those extra ones. It's the same can going all the way back so she knows exactly what she has as well as cereal in here and now everything is at the ready and super easy to access. I hope that this video inspired you to tackle a space in your home in just a few hours and for just about $30 we completely transformed it and made really functional zones. If you want more videos like this, you can check out the rest of my channel and subscribe if you like what you see, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Party at the coloring table. Can you answer me? I am, you can wave hi. <laughs>